Hi, this is Ola from BeamG.com and I'm going to show you quickly what you can do with the BeamG plot outliner and the character developer. So the first things first, I've made a couple of cards here. These are like index cards that you can stick to a wall. How do I make a card? I press a plus on a card that's already there and then I can write something in here, something like a scene idea. So I've made another card. Um, what else can I do with BeamG? Well, I can change the order of these cards. So if I want to tell this story, I want, I want this in, bit of information here um, at the chronology to be at the beginning. But in the way I tell the story, it's a big reveal. So it stays here at the end. Yeah? So I've got this narrative chronology switch. This is one of the key features of the, of the plot outliner. What else can I do? Well, I can add information to each of these cards. For instance, I can type in here um, what the boy's name is, what the princess's name uh, is. And then I can assign these characters to each event, like this. This means that what I can do is go on this filter switch here and then to say, show me all of the events which feature a particular character or any of the other information that I have put in. If I only want to see these particular uh, cards, then I just press this button here, then I see only those cards. So that means that I can work on one single character at a time or on uh, one storyline at a time. At the bottom here of the sidebar, these three dots um, there's, um, show you some of the other um, attributes that you can... Um, add to the to the car cards. So I'll put on the storylines here. In the premium um, version they will have uh, more attributes that you can add. So there's storylines and it works along the same principle. So um, I can add um, an A plot and a B plot and a central plot and things like that. I can give them names too just by clicking into it like this. So this is the, 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 um, the tool for developing your plot. Um, what we can also do is develop our characters. And we do that by clicking here on the character area. You see that the characters that I've already um, made um, are in here already. And I can work on these characters um, by clicking on the pencil icon here. And then answering these questions. These questions here um, have to do with the narrative function of each of the characters. So I go through this and I answer them. Um, so what's the problem? I don't know what's the problem. He's hungry. Of course, this isn't like a real problem for the character, but just so that I'm filling it in. So I go through like this, and I fill in all the details, all, the, all of these, um, like the character details like this. If ever I'm not sure what that means, this question, I can press this question mark here, and that'll give me um, some more information about what the relevance is of this particular question. Um, and I can even find out even more if I, if I click on this button here. That'll take me to um, a blog post which um, is all of, gives a lot of background info on every single little thing to do with, um, with outlining a story and with developing a character. So if I go back into the overview here of Single Multi, then um, what I can do in the same way that I can do it in the, in the plot way, I can decide here which are the things that I want to see in the sidebar. And then I can activate these and see them here. And the, the reason that we've put all of these characters here next to each other is so that we can compare them. So I can edit here as well. I don't have to do it in the, in the single modus. So I can do it here in, um, when I have the entire cast of characters and I can put it in here um, so that I can compare them and make sure that there's enough contrast between each. So that was a very very quick way of um, showing you what what we can do with, uh, with the plot outliner and, and the character developer. Don't forget this switch here. This is the zoom, especially useful um, in the plot area. There's a whole lot more functions to discover. Um, the most important thing to remember is that you don't need to actively save your projects. What you do um, is you copy um, your, your unique URL uh, to your clipboard and then save it in a safe place or you just add your address, your email address in here um, and then um, you can send yourself the, uh, an email which will contain this link to this particular project uh, and that way you'll always get into the latest version of the software and to the 
latest version of your project. Thank you very much.